back to the Night Child Reviews prints and today we'll be looking at the album Graffiti Bridge released in 1990. Um, we just introduced the album in this short video and then from tomorrow we're going to do a track by track analysis of this fantastic album. This album holds special memories for me. I got into Prince in about 1989. The first song I heard was Bat Dance and the first album I got to buy as it was released was Graffiti Bridge so this means so much to me and uh, it's an album that really just really captures uh, so much imagination and there's so many things going on in this album. It really is just an interesting album to kind of unpack and look at. Now this album, probably more than any other album, was a kind of family affair in the sense that Prince brought in for the first time so many artists that he wrote songs for and put them on the album. I mean on this album you've got songs from The Time, you've got songs from Tevin Campbell, Mavis Staples, T.C. Ellis, George Clinton. You've got all these amazing acts that Prince is bringing into this kind of family affair. Now obviously a lot of this tied in with the Graffiti Bridge uh, movie which we'll review at a later time and it's kind of you know mixing in with this is kind of group feel rather like it did with Purple Rain um, the, the, the movie kind of bringing in these different acts and and letting them kind of all blend in together and kind of have their different different ideas and different projects. Now the thing I love about this album is that a lot of these songs were just waiting to be released. This is almost somebody's described it before as kind of almost like a greatest hits of unreleased songs in the sense that there's so many songs that Prince had for such a long time and he finally put them on this album. I mean you look at a Tick Tick Bang. This was first worked on in 1981. You've got Can't Stop This Feeling I Got, 1982. You've got We Can Funk which first was configured in its early configuration in 1983. You've got Joy in Repetition which dates back from to 1986. The latest fashion goes back to 87. Graffiti Bridge itself, the title track, back to 87. And another interesting thing also happened in that Prince was sort of apparently going to release this after the 1988's Love Sexy, but um, as fate would have it, the Cape Crusader, Batman, flew in and Prince was asked to do the Batman soundtrack. So Prince put Graffiti Bridge on the back burner and did the Batman soundtrack and then returned to this album in 1990. It's um, interesting also for the single choices. Now Prince doesn't tend to do obvious single choices. But for this album it's particularly strange because he released Thieves in the Temple, which is a key song and one of you know, a great song in the, in, the, in the Prince discography. But he also released Round and Round by Tevin Campbell, he released Melody Cool with Mega Staples, um, The New Power Generation and also Shake by The Time. So he released lots of these singles that were from other artists. Um, also you've got to say this in, includes some of Prince's greatest work. I think Joy and Repetition is a Prince classic still played to this day. Question of You is you know, part of a great medley that Prince plays to this day. So there's a lot of you know, unreleased material that Prince worked on and really kind of pushed to get released in this project. And it's just interesting how it all came together. Um, it also spawned one of my favourite maxi singles, the new Power Generation maxi single with uh, Love Left, Love Right and The Lubricated Lady, which we'll review later. Fantastic maxi single. Now, um, there's so many things I love about this album. It's a very, uh, you know, a lot of tracks on this album. We've got 17 different tracks, and it's a kind of wide kaleidoscope of different ideas. There's, you know, because there's so many different artists in it, it really does have this feel of a kind of whole family effort. So I'm really looking forward to, to, to kind of getting into that. I, um, I really think that this is an album that kind of has so much going on and so many interesting things happening that I just really want to kind of take my time, go through each bit and look at it. So, so ultimately it was really good to see lots of these unreleased tracks finally see the light of day and finally get the attention they deserve. But anyway, so I'll see you tomorrow for the first track on this album called Can't Stop This Feeling I Got and we're going to go into Graffiti Bridge. I also remember that um, as I went to buy this album, I went to, to, to the record store with my mum, I was about you know, sort of 14, 15, and uh, um, there was the album in vinyl format or cassette, and for some reason, I don't know, my brain didn't work properly or something, I chose cassette because I thought I could listen to it you know, in the car on the way home when my mum was driving me. And we got kind of you know, halfway down the road, and then uh, uh, Morris Day talks about, um, let's get this party funkin' right. And I think my mum misheard the word funkin' and I got a little bit of a trouble for that being a teenager. But